Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back for a brand new benchmark. Today we're going to Transformers Revenge of the Fallen for the PS3. That's right, today we're testing out the RPCS3 emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 570 4GB VRAM graphics card. We're running with 16GB of DDR3 RAM and dual channel memory and this game wasn't coming on for me for a second there. I actually had to set the driver wake up to, to 200 and it ran all of a sudden but it was crashing at one of the menu screens earlier on. It was quite bizarre. And here we are with another Transformer game. It's probably going to end painfully for me. As you can see, this takes start this campaign. Let's start a new campaign. It it takes up a lot of CPU usage, man. It's not great. Home. Ours was once a planet called Cybertron. But we deal a with it, right? Obviously, I want to keep everything capped to 30 FPS because the CPU is over seven years old. The CPU can't manage these types of games. Uh, RPC S3, they are not just not ready yet for this type of CPU. But hey. We can somewhat get some gameplay out of it. Let's see if it works. Now this is simply to show you the progress of the emulator. This is not about the game because you can play it on PC. I just want to see what the emulator can do and if it has issues to fix some certain issues that may help out PS3 in the long run. Well, that's some bad screen terror some V-Sync issues. Now this is obviously a cinematic, we're trying to get into the game and see what happens. But the cinematic, even the cinematic is over 50%, that's crazy, it's pushing my CPU that hard. Some games will do this, Transformers, I had a feeling Transformers would be one of them. It seems big enough that it would be very CPU intensive, without them fixing it. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys enjoy seeing me play these types of games on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps me out on the channel. I'm basically the low-spec gamer of emulation and low-end graphics as well. I play normal games on Intel HD. I have them out as soon as they come in. It's good stuff, man. We have it released almost immediately. New stuff, old stuff. I love to do emulation. Okay, but you can see this is this is hurting this already. Keep in mind, this is the first time I'm loading in the game because I want you guys to see how it is, how it runs from the very start. So compiling shaders is a thing. Huh, not bad though. All my CPU is completely pushed 100%. That is bad. Bumblebee! We're using 4 gigs of RAM. So RPC S3 is not RAM intensive. It's not user, that's for sure. But it is CPU intensive. Oh, My gosh. It's good to have you back. Nest has been monitoring increased Decepticon activity. Full 100% usage. Time to get going. Since you haven't seen combat in a while, Optimus wants us to review all system functions. Not that I need to, of course. I am sending objectives to your display now. I know how to walk. Check your on-screen radar. You will find your first objective. Look at it, it's running, man. It's Good. It's running. Your radar should be showing us your next location. Head for it now. I mean, it's doing a lot better than War for Cybertron, but War for Cybertron had a lot more stuff going on. You know the drill. Check your radar. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go climb a building, I guess. Oh, geez, sorry, my bad. Light pole. Now that your oil is flowing, let's try something more interesting. Check your radar. Was that prepared? It's always interesting to see how how things work, how, how they'll run on here. This is fully being utilized, which is never a good thing, especially when you're in game. I know, too easy. But try to stay with me. I promised Prime not to skip the simple stuff. But it is really pushing That's this. It's pushing it, but at the same time, it's still very playable. On oh, no, like 4790, so you know that's progress. I would have done, but still, let's move on. Head to the next location on your radar. Progress, man, progress. We love it all the same. Remember, even without Megatron, the Decepticons are dangerous. You must I'm gonna punch you. Ready. 
I mean, this is playable, even with this. So if you have a higher end CPU, maybe the A7 4790K, you may be able to squeeze a bit more performance out of it as well. Remember, this is the non-K series, so if you had the K series, probably would handle a lot better. Boom. Well done. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. I like this next one. See for yourself. It's on your radar. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Come on, You're functioning go. perfectly. Systems review. If we need to stay sharp, why not a good firefight? Who else wants some? We have lost the unit. All right, I'm impressed. Show me more. It didn't look hard, but good job. Let's see what's next. Check your radar. The battle for Earth's survival depends upon speed as well as aggression. Now, enter your vehicle mode. Good work. Nearly as good as me.